Hello again beautiful jewels and gems, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our second look for Halloween this year. If you're interested in getting this look, please keep watching. First we're grabbing this angled fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics and grabbing this purple shade from my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. We're going to swoop that on the inner corners of our eyes and also in our crease up towards our brow bone. We're also going to bring that on our bottom lash line. This will create the base for our eye socket. Now we're going to grab that darker shade of purple and sweep that up on the inner corner of our eye and also in our crease. We're also going to use that shade to smoke out our bottom lash line. Last minute blending. We're then going to grab this pink shade to highlight our brow bone. We're then going to use a concealer to carve out a defined line. Now starting with our nose, we're going to be using NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil. Then suck in your cheeks and draw a line underneath your cheekbone. Using Mayron's Fantasy FX White Face Paint, we're going to quickly apply that all over our face, using a sponge. It is important to apply this really quickly as it dries fairly fast. Wait for that to dry, then apply your second layer. Going back with the Jumbo Eye Pencil, I'm going to perfect the lines. Now using any purple eyeliner, we're going to outline our eye socket. Using Maybelline's Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black as Black, we're going to start with a simple cat eye eyeliner, and we're going to create extra wings down to our lower lash line. Before we start, we're going to make sure that we have the same amount on both eyes, as well as map out where we want them. Apply eyelashes of your choice. I'm using House of Lashes Iconic. And this part is optional. I'm putting two dots in the middle of my lower lash line. Pop in your contacts and this is what the eye should look like. Now we're going to work on the skull. Using that same purple eyeliner from before, we're going to map out where the dark parts of our skull are going to be. Fill it in with a purple jumbo eye pencil. And using a flat pointed brush, I'm going to grab this dark shade from my Morphe 35P palette and start shading in the area on top. Using that jumbo eye pencil first creates a creamy base for us to blend easily. Grab a fluffy brush and pack eyeshadow in the area.
Moving on to our teeth, we're going to darken the inner part of our lips with that same eyeshadow. When mapping out your teeth, make sure you have the same amount on both sides. Bring that line up and create an upside down triangle. Repeat the same process for your bottom teeth. And for it to appear more tooth-like, we're going to swipe one more line between each tooth. Using a random glitter palette, I'm going to pack that on each tooth. Darkening up my lips, and applying glitter on the top teeth as well. Starting with our nose, we're going to create two lines for our nostrils. Create the shape that you prefer and fill it in. I'm going to connect it at the top. And this is what it should look like so far. We're going to add lines for detail. and carve out our jawline. This gives a similar effect as contouring and gives us a stronger jawline. My forehead was looking blank so I decided to shade in my frown lines. You can also shade in your temples and bring that up to your forehead and down your cheekbone. And for a last minute detail, I like to create a diamond shape above my nose. And that completes the look. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Be there or be square.